Yeah, that interior wood is getting hurt. So what the thatch looks like it's coming through and okay. Welcome everyone to McGroggan Gaming. I am McGroggan. And today I am planning on building out a, a set of test buildings to compare the different building styles and then see how we can mix and match those styles to make some really cool buildings. What I've already done, I created a new open world on easy difficulty because my intent here isn't to fight a bunch of animals. So we've got an open world, easy, Olympus, um, show you where we're at. It should be familiar to everyone. And what we're planning on doing today is in this open area here, I'll probably have to remove a bunch of boulders, but is build out seven identical buildings, one in each building style, um, evenly spaced, so we can really compare and contrast the different buildings and um, and really see what we like, what we don't like, and get some ideas for, for bringing them together. We are going to start with thatch. Ooh, got some glitching going on there. Move on to wood. This will make sense in a minute. Stone. Then we'll do interior wood, which obviously from the name meant to be mostly interior. Okay, I'm going to have to go kill a wolf real quick. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, back to building. I'm probably going to have to take out another one in here in a moment. Okay, so that is, it's called the glass beam, but it's iron. Uh, we'll talk more about that in a minute. Um, then, oh, got to go on to aluminum. And then finally, concrete. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to kill the wolf that's eating the other wolf. Dude, you're not very cool. Ah, yeah, see I moved my knife to a different spot for the build and... Okay, okay, so now we have our posts. And I did that so we have a single line. We have a really nice solid line there. Okay, um, so let's kind of build off of that. And then we'll start clearing things as we need to. So let's go back to our thatch. So let's get rid of the stuff in the way here, which for the most part, for the most part, we're not much in the way. And so now we're going to start really, really building it out. We're going to throw all the floors down and then you'll probably start getting an idea of what I'm doing here. Um, that's when it should start making sense. Because at the moment we just have a sea of columns. So many dead wolves. Okay, so there. Now you can see we've got platforms. Um, so they're each four by four. Now you'll notice I do still have a couple more um, platforms left because what I was planning is to make a porch on each of them as well. Um, so I'm still going to do that. Ooh, that sounded bad. I'm still going to do that. 
Um, just let's decide which side do we build it on. On that side, we have all of these dead wolves, so maybe we don't do it on that side. Maybe we still do it in the front. Yeah, that glass is just... Mmm. Boy. Now, and I know I could have made the glass tougher. Um, I did not take the time to build out the... Um, to get a water pump to hook up to my glass bench, which would have given me tempered glass. I think they call it hardened glass, um, which makes it quite a bit tougher. I did not do that. So, um, so yeah, so this, this may deteriorate if we get a storm, which we will. Um, hopefully the glass survives. Thatch I know will need repaired, but, but that's part of what we're doing. We're here to see it. So, um, let me see, should we put the porch on the front or the back? Yeah, let me, let me take a quick break. I'm going to take out a couple more boulders, a couple of them there in front. Um, then we will, I'll wait until morning so you've got good light. We'll come back, we'll put the front porches on and start putting up the walls. Okay, see you guys in a few minutes. Okay, welcome back. So it is the next morning. I got a couple more boulders moved out of the way. And now we are ready. Oh good, it's just a deer walking up on me. Um, now we are ready to start building these out a little bit more so you can really start seeing what the differences are in them. When there are a bunch of platforms on stilts, kind of hard to tell. of this is getting hurt and this is not even that bad of a storm I'm breathing hard you know what we'll pick this up in a second after the storm goes by we'll we'll pick this up Did most of the repairing. Uh, I say most, you'll see in a minute. There's just a little bit more it will need done. Um, but we are gonna just get this finished up real quick.
Okay, now all of our cabins are complete. So there we have your thatch, wood, stone, interior wood, glass, so this stuff's in the way, aluminum, and concrete. Um, so as these are, these are just the standard, I mean, now this isn't all build pieces. We don't have half pitches in there or half pieces. Uh, we don't have foundations there. So there are more pieces available than this in, in most of the building styles. The point of this wasn't to show every building piece. It was to kind of show the default of a basic little two by two cabin um, in each of them that are as close to identical as we can get. So you see what pieces are here, and then we can start seeing how we can make them better. So um, one other quick thing I'm going to do to it is we are going to put some corner posts on as well. And then we'll see how they do in the rain. I think it shouldn't, if you've played much, most of it won't be a surprise. Um, thatch is likely to fall apart. Concrete is likely to be untouched. And and then the other, I mean, those, those are pretty much guaranteed. Then the others um, vary depending on the type of storm. Okay. Now those quarter supports, if you're making a single story structure, they're not necessary, but they they make it look more finished. You see, if you don't, you have that kind of squared off edge. Uh, but if you put these in, then the, it just looks, it, lo it looks nicer. It looks a lot more finished. So we're going to go ahead and put those in. Now, if you're making more than a single story structure, you're likely to need those for support anyway. I really do like the sounds, the building sounds. They, they did a really good job with that. Okay, there we go. So we've got the storm coming now. So, so we're going to try to hang out over here. Uh, I don't, I mean, I'm not really wearing armor. Um, hopefully it won't be too bad. Um, but I, I want to try to stay outside where we have this view of all the buildings and see what the storm does to it. So this is not the most severe storm. But it's it's strong enough that there'll be some damage. Um, I think we can be fairly sure that the thatch building is going to get um, maybe not completely destroyed, but it's going to be in rough shape. The <coughs> um, the wood building or the interior wood building also going to take some damage. Um, we'll see wood might as well. Stone almost definitely will not in this level storm. Um, aluminum, concrete also probably, or concrete definitely won't. Aluminum shouldn't. Glass, it's not hardened glass. It did not take the time to build a water pump. So it is not hardened glass. So the glass might take damage. It, it could get, just the roof might even be destroyed. We'll find out. Um, I think I'm hearing damage already. So, I'm just going to try to sit here and watch and we'll see what happens. We've got some, we've got a strong storm on the way.
Yeah, that interior wood is getting hurt. So what the thatch looks like it's coming through it okay. Okay, now that storm's just about gone completely. Oh, I don't have any berries. Um, so let's head on over there. And let's see. Let's see what we've got here. Yeah, what is first let's let's find out what's under here. Is it a okay, it's that pronghorn. Do, do you need to just be put down? Okay, there you go. Alright. So first let's take a look here. Um yeah, actually the thatch didn't get damaged. Which is I'm very curious about. Because thatch would normally just get destroyed. So, I mean, see, there's even a tree down right behind it. So, I'm very curious how the thatch made it through that. I wonder if, if it was out of the damage radius or something. I don't know. Um, the wood also came through it okay. Yeah, I don't see any damage on the wood. Hmm. I think this was not a good test. I'm sure the stone's fine, but look at this guy. So the stairs are fine, but the front porch, I mean, it's almost half gone. The front is just all kinds of battered. <clears throat> so we'll get that all fixed up. See what it looks like in here. Ah, oh, we've got skylights. That's nice. Okay. Yeah, looks like the glass. Oh, nope. See, we did get some damage on the glass. Yeah, glass roofs did sustain some damage. Probably would not have happened if I had made the hardened glass. And I'm sure aluminum's gonna be fine. Yeah. And then, and then concrete, we really don't even need to look at the concrete. I mean, it's virtually indestructible. So, okay. So that's what we have. So, so those are our seven basic building types. You've got thatch, wood, stone, interior wood, glass, aluminum, and concrete and I mean interior wood as the name implies is designed to be used inside buildings uh, which is why it took so much damage and thatch is just your I need to sleep through the night shelter or you can get a first crafting bench in there so it has shelter it'll work but it's not meant to be around for long the rest of them can be um, obviously the regular wood can take some serious damage so I would say use it sparingly, but it has the, a, a place. It's got a nice aesthetic, especially when combined with some other things. Um, stone, nice and rustic and solid. Glass, I probably wouldn't build a whole structure out of glass like this, but there's definitely some uses for, for glass. And not, I mean, beyond the obvious greenhouse um, where it gives buffs for, for growing. Aluminum, now that's a cool one. Um, it's got kind of your post-apocalyptic look to it, very crude, corrugated. Um, it, it, it looks kind of shanty-like almost. Um, so it depends on the kind of look you're going for, but I could definitely see a place for it. And then concrete down on the end, certainly if you're going for an industrial look, I mean, it's, it's your go-to. And if you want something that's going to just survive no matter what gets thrown at it, it all, it'll make it through that too. So um, so that's, that's your basic structures though. Uh, I think I'm going to wrap it up here today. And I will be back again in another episode um, in the same location to add a few more features to, the, to each of them. Um, and then start looking at combining the um, structures or the, the the different type so then we'll also come back when we come back we'll start taking a look at combining the different material types to make something that 
that is more aesthetically pleasing or that meets whatever the look is that you're going for in your particular build. So um, thank you for joining me. Once again, this is McGrogan of McGrogan Gaming. And enjoy Icarus and try to survive. Talk to you next time.